I love this like shirt and this look. I was going very much for Anne Hathaway in the Devil Wears Prada. It's got like the like the cute little sleeveys. I love this shirt. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're doing a video all about my favorite foundation combinations for combination skin. I have true combination skin where I have like certain dry patches on my face, certain parts of my face get really oily throughout the day and that my skin changes heavily with the seasons. In the winter it gets dry, really really dry, and then in the summer and in the spring it gets really oily, like I can't even explain it, like it's super oily and not just in the places where like I get oily throughout the year, it's just everywhere oil. So I've been experimenting, I've been working with different foundations, mostly drugstore but also some higher end, and I have three combinations here that I love more than anything else and these combinations work well all over my face. It's really a big struggle for me to find foundations that work really well on their own and I was a little hesitant at first to like play chemist and like you know kind of mix certain things because I had no idea where to start. Like I had watched the Taylor and I heard her talk about how she combined different foundations for like what she saw in them. Like if she liked the finish of this one but it wasn't long lasting, she mixed it with the long lasting one. So I kind of like took those hints and went through my foundation collection and picked out, you know, foundations that had aspects that I was really looking for. For me, I work long days, I am active, and I have to walk as my commute to work. So I'm looking for medium to full coverage, long lasting, and that won't break down throughout the day because I have to look put together throughout my entire day. So I have three foundation combinations here that work really well for me and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this and you want to see any more in the future. And if you want to see any more in the future, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So without further ado, let's jump into foundation combination number one. So combination number one, I actually only have one of the foundations still here because while doing this combination, I totally used up the first foundation. And that combination is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. So in the Fenty, I have shade 160 and in the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I had 2N1 as my shade. 2N1 was a bit dark a little for my summer shade and it was a little heavy like I loved the wear time of double wear and I liked how it looked but it could get heavy and it could feel heavy so mixing it with Fenty which is a really nice thin consistency it still has coverage in there and it's a little bit lighter it lightened the double wear for me and smoothed out the formula so it wasn't as heavy on the skin that was my absolute favorite foundation combination during the latter half of the fall and summer last year. I actually mixed these two foundations, used them every day until I used up the entirety of my double wear. I thought about buying another double wear just so I could keep mixing it because I still have, I think, like this much of the Fenty left in here. But I have so many foundations. I have a whole drawer of foundations. If you haven't seen it, I'll throw my foundation collection up here so you can take a look. But I couldn't justify buying a foundation when I had so many and I still had to test out all of those foundations as well. So that is my absolute favorite combination right there. It is a little bit expensive but I was just you know messing around with my foundations and those two worked amazing. The rest of these are drugstore though so they're definitely a lot more affordable so let's jump into the drugstore one that I love the most next. The next combination is the Dermacol Film Studio Makeup Cover and the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Very different foundations. The Dermacol is super high coverage. It's basically like a super thick concealer is kind of how I use it. I actually have a big not a, like a cyst on my nose right now and I use this to cover it up, powder it a little bit and then I go over with my foundation and it does an amazing job of covering it up. So I consider this more of like a thick concealer than I do a foundation. And then the Healthy Elixir from CoverGirl, it's medium to full coverage depending on how you build it up. It's more lightweight, it just feels comfortable on the skin but the coverage of this, it's like if I want to build it up, I can get full coverage out of this, but if I want to do it on one layer, mix these together. 
and also the wear time it lasts me a full day in the middle of the summer heat walking both ways to work and then working a full day i came home and i still looked like like i could go out on a date with the way my foundation looked after I mixed these two together all day. Dermacol on its own is a little too drying for me. I would see the dry patches kind of come out. It'd be a little too cakey for me on its own. The Vitalist Healthy Elixir works just fine on its own. It's one of my favorite drugstore foundations of all time. But if I need more coverage, if I'm having a bad skin month or if it's coming up on my period and I have a lot of hormonal breakouts around my mouth and I need more coverage, it works. It really works. I have a video about a year ago where I mix these two and I talk about how much I love it and I still love this combination. I love it so much. So right now I'll be mixing the shade 710 with the Dermacol. I don't think I mentioned the Dermacol shade. I'm also going to have everything listed down below just so that you guys know all my shade names. But for Dermacol I'm 210 and this is almost my perfect shade. It's just it's just a little dark like a little dark enough for me to spot conceal but not for under eyes if that makes sense. I also have the shade 725 in the Healthy Elixir Foundation. I did use this one in the first video that I have on this combination and also my first impression on this foundation about a year ago. It's a little too dark for me now. I did use up like half of the bottle last summer. I'm assuming I'm going to go back to this shade in the summer, but if not, I could also mix this with like a white lightener and use it right now. But I loved it so much I wanted to buy another shade, so I did. And it's affordable. Like I got the... CoverGirl from my CVS and you can use coupons, you can use extra bucks. I actually had like $10 in extra bucks right now, so I'd probably pick up another one. <laughs> the Dermacol was a little bit trickier. I talk about it a little bit more in the other video, but I had to buy a couple off of Amazon and just kind of had to figure out like what my shade was, but my perfect shade or the closest that I can get in Dermacol is 210. And the last foundation combination that I'm going to be talking about today is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. In the Maybelline, I have shade 122, which this shade isn't too off. I can wear it on its own and it won't look terrible. In the LA Girl, I have the shade Fair. This one is like really off. It's like a little orange on me, a little bit. When I mix these two together, the finish is like this beautiful like satin dewy kind of finish. It's not matte. It's not going to come out matte at all. But you can set it with powder. You can add more coverage if you need to. This builds up amazingly and it lasts throughout the day. The one thing is that you're not going to get transfer proof coverage of this and that's the one thing that I have to work around is that with these other combinations, it's mostly transfer proof. This one, if you like touch your face onto fabric, it's gonna it's gonna transfer. So keep an eye out on that. I was wearing this when like a coworker came up and hugged me and I saw like a spot on his jacket, which is a little embarrassing. Um, just keep an eye out on that. Other than that, I love this combination. I think it's great for more dry skin because you're not gonna get that over drying throughout the day. And also if you're a little bit oily and the oils do come through, it, it doesn't look oily. Like it looks like a nice satin finish throughout the day. Mixing these two, you get medium to full coverage. You can build it up to full coverage. You will have to do two layers to get that. But overall, I really like this combination. I think I heard someone mention it in a video and I was like, I have both of those. I should try it. And then I tried it and I loved it. Love it so much. It works great on my dry patches. It looks great on my oily patches. I just love it. So those were my top three foundation combinations for combination skin. Let me know down below what are your favorite foundation combinations or like what are your favorite just foundations overall? Have you found a foundation that actually works well for your entire face or do you have to kind of like play chemist like I do? Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you like this video you'll subscribe before you leave and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!